I'm scared, you guys. This is the final test. No, you're going to break it. Today is called the Rice and Power STEM Expo, where we're bringing all the students that we've reached out to in the Houston community from middle schools and high schools to come on campus and experience hands-on science, meet faculty, meet Rice students who are all trying to get them more excited about pursuing fields in science, technology, engineering, and math. We want like a wide base. Does it have to be really thick? These kids are doing the marshmallow challenge. They're basically using all of these supplies and they have to engineer a design using the two marshmallows, the noodles, everything we gave them. And there needs to be a marshmallow on top. They're trying to have the tallest, most stable design. <laughs> so activities like the marshmallow challenge help us take those scientific concepts and make them very immediate uh, and engaging for, for these high school students and middle school students to know what it's all about. One of the key pieces that not just like students in underperforming schools are facing, what students all across the United States are facing is that they're just not fascinated by math or science. They don't see how these things are interesting. It becomes a jumble of uh, numbers and concepts that don't apply to them. And I think one thing that the STEM Expo did in a wonderful way and that I wanted it to do was really just to fascinate them and get them interested in these topics, help them realize that in the day to day, they can be fascinated and interested and they can experience a sense of very profound success uh, by really engaging in some of these applied math and science projects. So the challenge is symbolic of sort of any engineering challenge. So, it, you know, today it's marshmallows and spaghetti, but tomorrow it could be the Empire State Building or the next iPhone or anything. Because the same, you still are, you're working with limited time, you're working with limited resources. Um, you have to learn to work with people and how to, to take what you have and to develop it into something better.